game. I tell you that failure is not in my place. Mac games in the building and what's going on youtube today we got a little something different man i got a war zone settings video yeah so i think i had a few people ask about my settings and what settings i use for war zone and stuff like that so we finna get into it man but before we get into this video i need everybody that like coming and subscribe man it's a little something different i don't really show my settings like that. i think i did maybe once before i'm rambling i'm talking so fast Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's been a long day. Let's get it. So, first, we finna get into my mouse and keyboard settings. I don't play mouse and keyboard. Next, general. <laughs> a wallet. Uh, general, let's go. We play on controller, 120 field of view, so you can see the maximum amount of things. I mean, that's just obvious. 120 affected. That's how everything looks like. It's no recoil. Like, that. That's, that's how you do it. I don't use a colorblind type, even though a lot of people suggest I think, um, which one is it? I think they suggest, like, this one. Or this one. It's one of those that they suggest, but I don't use them. Like, yeah, I don't use them. As you see, boom. If, you, if your mini map not square, you basically missing out on, you know what I'm saying? You missing out on the area. Like, look what I'm at right now. That's not in, like, you can't see that on the mini map. So if it's a red dot right here, like, let's say it's a red dot right here. You can't see that red dot on your mini map because you have a circle. So I would much rather, you know, have a... I have more of an advantage. Don't set myself up for failure like that. Basically, I don't set myself up for failure. Um, yeah, all this stuff. I don't really think none of this stuff matters. You know, I just like to see my, I like to see my FPS and my latency. I like to see all those things. Not necessary at all, but I think most people that play on PC would like to see it. Like most people that play on PC would like to see it. Now the big boy setting graphics. Big boy settings. Full screen borderless. Only borderless. Board border. Whoa only borderless because i like to move from one screen to another i have multiple monitors so i like to move from one screen to another without having to you know tab out and stuff like that it's my spectrum monitor i could also use my msi monitor but i like to play on my spectrum sometimes and sometimes i like to play on my msi one bigger than the other it just depends on how i'm feeling for the day my 3060 render resolution always at 100 don't go lower trying to get more frames it'll give you more frames but your game will look terrible so you do not want to do that at all display resolution basically whatever the resolution is for your monitor however you could do that if you have a 1440 monitor then you know, we'll get into that later on in the video but yeah aspect automatic sync frame turn that off your game could be glitching if you keep that joint on that's how to look if you keep it on no sir we want none of that custom frame ain't limit frame rate limit don't limit yourself to your frames let your frames do what they're gonna do unlimited baby unlimited that's how we rock it Un nvidia highlights you don't need that on, bro. You, you need more FPS. You don't need that on. I'm not going into much detail about these things, but this is basically me showing my settings. It's a lot more videos where they go into more detail about why they do what they do on the game. Like, it's, it's better people for that. Uh, I think enable. I'm really supposed to have enable plus boost, probably. Hmm. I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to have. Let's read and see. Low latency mode is this. Hey, boom. Low latency mode is enable and optimizing system latency. Ooh, low latency mode is now enabled out of my system. Additionally, GPU clock frequency frequencies are kept high in CPU mount cases. This can reduce latency, but will increase GPU power draw. Uh, that's why I have it on this enable. I don't want GPU power draw, but I'm pretty sure enable plus boost is what I'm supposed to be on. It helps you be more snappy. Basically, it helps you be more snappy. Now, streaming quality, normal. You don't really need that at low. It says it's recommended if you got less than four gigs of VRAM. As you can see, I got about 12. I have 12 gigs of reverb, so yeah. It only say max right there because that's why I set it for the max for it. Texture resolution, low or normal doesn't really matter, but I play on low because I feel like I get about 10 more frames when I play on low, and the game isn't that big of a difference to me. Granted, that texture resolution, the trees look worse when you play on low. The trees give that odd weirdness, like all the grass and trees look very weird when you play on low so i would suggest most people play on normal but for my competitive advantage basically i'm low in everything once i get my 3070 or 3080 then i'm gonna play normal i'm gonna, I'm gonna have the game look good while i also get my frames you feel me but now i just need a competitive advantage so mostly everything is on low because i want that competitive advantage you see my like, because i want that competitive advantage some of these things aren't necessary people stand out so i mean the tessellation you could probably put that on near or all because it doesn't really affect anything but i keep everything disabled because i don't know to what extent these things do affect them i feel like i watched a video on it before 
and I just forgot everything. To keep it a book, which I forgot everything. Now, really, none of these really matter except direct X ray tracing. That will have you lose some frames. I'm talking 10 to 20 frames lost if you got that joint on. So yeah, we 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 don't rock that over here. We mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no sir. But if you want your game to look good as if you have direct ray tracing on, I would suggest putting on anti-aliasing and putting it on one X. When I used to play, I used to use 2X, but they used to, you know, do a bit much. I think I lost too many frames with that one. So if I did, if I want my game to look a bit smoother, as you can see, you can tell the difference on the left. That's without, that's with. It looks smoother. Like, more so you can tell, like, in this area right here, things just look a little smoother. Not ragged and stuff like that. But when you're just looking for enemies, I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm very competitive. I want the max competitive advantage. And these settings give me the most frames. Now, if you on console or PC, I don't care. Make sure your world motion blur and your weapon motion blur is off. That looks absolutely disgusting. If you don't know what I'm saying, try turning these off if they've been on and you will see just how much more steel your game looks. My son, daughter laughing because she already know the vibes, bro. She already know the vibes. That dynamic resolution. I did used to run this when I thought it was needed, but in all honesty, it's not needed. Like I used to have it on and keep it at 120 frames. So it would try and keep it there. But I feel like, you know, at some points my game would stutter and things like of that nature because of that. So yeah. Now, audio. Wait, wait, whatever I did, discard. Whatever I did, I messed something up. <laughs> something about audio, boost. Probably boost low would be best, but I like boost right now, but I usually run boost low. I think that's better for footprints. So I usually run boost low. I usually run boost low. Turn the music volume all the way down. You don't want to hear music. Dialogue volume can sort of be down, but I feel like sometimes that really helps me in situations. Sometimes that helps me, gives me cues. It's all about the cues in this game. You want to you wanna have the best advantage. You want everything to work in your favor, basically. You need these things to work in your favor. Voice chat, yeah, that, I mean, that's all PC related thing, you know, you know, voice chat, uh, all of that, bro, and then, whatever, people getting Discord in. Controller 10, okay, now we getting good, I played default flip, baby, I played default flip, because I got back buttons, I got back buttons on my controller, I have back buttons, so I play on default flip, so I'm shooting with L1 and R1, I know that's an Xbox controller, it shouldn't be, I'm shooting with L1 and R1, <laughs> dead zone point oh three. I mean, it could probably be at zero. Nothing's wrong with my controller. It's basically brand new. I play on six and six when I play on PC, but when I'm playing on console, I play at eight and 11 because I need to move more because I don't have, you know, I don't have my um, field of view. I'm basically, I'm going from 120 to 80 on console, so I need to be able to move more swiftly. So, yeah, aim now sight, one, one. It's one, one. You know, I'm playing six, six, one, one. Now, I keep it at six and six because you have, I feel like you have more control over your guns than this. So, yeah, basically, well, I always draw blanks when I'm doing these videos, bro. I don't have anything written. I just, you know what I'm saying? I go from the head. I just let it flow, bro. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. But I keep it at six and six because I feel like I have better control of my gun when I run a lower sensitive. There we go. Right on our money. I hit it, baby. Let's go. Uh, aim assist standard. Uh, no, disabled. It will zoom in too much, bro way too much um weapon mount and exit enable yeah you know you know the vibes that's how you can mount and stuff like that yeah basically how you do it basically what's the other option double tap aim down sight or just aim down sight Ooh. but then it'll like auto do it though like you wanna and you know yeah you wanna initiate it equipment behavior oh but right here use reload contextual tap that way you can just run over things, tap it, quick tap it, quick tap, get your stuff. Hold to reload. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, apply plate behavior, apply all. You know, like you don't want to be putting on one plate at a time. You want when you hold it. But that first time, it's just going to keep putting on plates. Deplete when my auto switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slide behavior. To, to be able to slide cancel. And, you know, the normal, you know, the way that everybody slides cancel, tap. Don't have it on hold. I don't know how to even slide cancel with that. Have it on tap get it rocking i run automatic tax sprint i don't feel like it's really any point in warzone where you need to be walking anyway if i need to slow down walking i'm crouching and when you crouch walk and aim your footsteps aren't really heard so i mean that's about the only point you need to be 
walking is when you can crouch walk. Because if you run, if you just regular walking, they hear your footsteps. If you crouch walk and aim, then I mean, well, if you basically crouch and aim while you moving forward, which is basically walking to be real slow, they can't hear your footsteps. So that's yeah, that's exactly how that would be. Uh, automatic parachute deploy, parachute auto deploy, whatever, same thing, bro. I have it disabled so I can have a better advantage getting to the ground first. If you have it on auto deploy, it's gonna pull up way before you would want it to, and somebody could easily beat you to these helicopters or to the ground loop and just smoke you while you're still in the sky. So, yeah. But yeah, anyway, those are my settings. Those are basically my graphic settings, my controller settings. Yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We out. Peace.